guys, Allie Pierce at the ranch. Now this particular uh, uh, video is about our hay saver feeder. Hay saver, that's what they call it. It's a feeder. We use big round bales and uh, that's more efficient. If you have a tractor anyway, they're more efficient. We used to use square bales, but it took 600 square bales to feed our half a dozen horses. Now we do it with uh, about uh, 40 round bales, same amount. And round bales are a lot easier than throwing square bales around because I use a tractor for the round bales, yeah. But anyway, one of the problems with horses, as you have probably experienced, is the horses are not the neatest eaters in the world. They're not pigs, <laughs> they're horses. But anyway, they tend to throw hay all over the place. For some strange reason, they don't like the hay on the outside, so they pull all the hay on the outside off, drop it on the ground, and eat the inside. Anyway, it makes a big mess, number one. Secondly, it wastes a lot of hay. It's all good hay clean and dry, no mold or anything, it's good hay, but for some reason the horses they have to make a mess. This particular device took us a long time to find one of these. We went a long ways. We went from Toronto to Indianapolis. These are only made in Indianapolis, this particular one. I tried to get one to some other supplier, they don't make them. I was going to get one made locally, it was going to cost me a fortune. So we went down and bought one of these. I'm going to include, Kevin's going to put in there the name uh, of, of the company in Indianapolis that makes them if you decide you'd like to have one. Get, get out of here. Get. So anyway, it's Winnie the donkey. Anyway, so we went and bought this thing. Let me tell you about it. First of all, when you buy this, it comes in pieces. And it fits in the back of a pickup truck. You could carry two if you have a lot of horses in the back of a pickup truck. They're actually packed up very, very compactly and strapped with steel straps and so on. And what it has it is basically is a square with, made of bars. It has a platform, a wooden platform, which is included, by the way. It has legs, and on the very bottom it has skids, like this. So you set this up in your yard, you bolt it all together, you end up with the square. Now, we wanted to protect the hay, so we put a roof on it as well. The roof is not included when you buy this. It's not a big deal. It's two pieces of two by six and some old tin, a couple of stringers on there. And we make it out of slope so the snow and the rain runs off. So you can see the roof, there it is, that's it. What's the big deal? Well, the big deal is this. Number one, let's load it. How do you load this? Unlike other feeders, even tombstone feeders are those fancy bags that you buy that are supposed to say, hey, this is much, much better, in our opinion. And we've been using this now for about four years. It's working really well. This door on this end locks in place and swings open. Now the door on the other end swings open as well. So you can use either side to put the bale of hay in. And you literally go to the barn, pick up your bale of hay, bring it over here, take the string off, drop the bale of hay inside and pull the door closed. It's the simplest thing in the world. There's nothing else to do, nothing to clean up, nothing to prepare. You put this back in place, latch it shut. Just that easy. So what's so special? Well, okay, picture this, picture this. Now I have my round bale inside the feeder. Right, so what I'll do now is I'm gonna drop the round bale, drop this side, it latches like that, drop it onto the round bale. It goes down and sits on the round bale. I drop the other side too. So now we have these two sides sitting on the round bale. The horses can easily reach through and pull hay out and eat, but they can't get enough to pull a whole bunch out. They can only get a mouthful, just enough to eat. And as they eat, it slowly goes down and down and down and down until finally, of course, finally, of course, it's empty. Time to put a new bale in. It's just that easy. Now we did one small thing to make it a little bit handier. What we did was hooked up a chain so we can control how much hay they get. We just put this chain on the top. It only goes down that far, you see? And when it's down that far, we let the horses live without hay for a half a day, and then we drop it down, then you finish the rest of the bale. It's just a little bit of control if you feel you need that. Both sides are down. Horses eat the hay bale. When it's all gone, we'll put a new bale in. We're going to show you how that works. I'm going to show you two things. I'm going to show you how easy it is to move. It has like little runners on it. And when you've got one area, and of course, <clears throat> unfortunately, the horses are also not particularly uh, particular about where they make a mess. So when they're eating, they're making a mess. So you end up with a fair bit of manure, horse manure around this feeder. So every once in a while, we just pull it 10 feet away clean that mess up and leave it there for a while. Let me show you how easy that is to do. We're going to get the tractor and give it a quick pull, and then we're going to put a bale of hay in. Okay, right back.
Okay guys, we're back with our hay saver feeder. And I just wanted to quickly show you how easy it is to move this thing. As you may have noticed, or I'll get Kevin to point it out, the, the, the big pipe that it sits on is sloped and the ends tipped up. So it's like a, like a, a, a snowmobile ski. And all you need to do is hook a chain onto the two outside legs like that. And then <clears throat> if you have a long enough chain, great. Or put another chain. We use two chains. Put another chain in the middle like this. You hook it up to the back of your tractor and pull it 10 feet. Watch this. See how easy it is. Take it over the green spot then. There we go. Okay. Just about that easy. So now we've got the uh, hay saver feeder in the new spot where we want it. Now we're going to put a round belt in. You watch how easy this is. I'm going to go to the barn and get a round belt. You don't need to see that part of the operation. I'll bring it back up here. And Kevin, you watch what we do here, okay? So the bale's in, just that easy. Okay guys, go crazy. Just that simple. Alright, the hay saver feeder. We just love You notice by the way when we were towing it is very, very light. As I said, I, I don't no, if a guy could pick it up on his own, but probably it might, might weigh 200 pounds total with everything. So it's very, very light, strong, all galvanized steel. It really has been a real hay saver <laughs> and time saver on our ranch. Maybe, uh, maybe if you haven't seen them, you uh, might want to check it out. Okay, guys, talk to you real soon. I got to take care of my horses. Alec Pierce at the ranch. Bye-bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.